Hey guys, Jason here with Amy Creative for another tutorial on how to open up your Instagram feed in a new tab on your Squarespace website. In this tutorial, I'm going to be walking you through how to set up your Instagram feed and then ensuring that whenever an image is clicked uh, from your Instagram feed that it opens in a new tab. And so the way that we do that is we're going to go ahead and first set up uh, your Instagram feed and um, let me go ahead and do that now. Now I've already set up my account, uh, so it's already pulling in my Instagram feed for my Any Creative account. If you haven't set it up, what's going to happen is you'll go ahead and hit here. You go to add an account. It'll prompt you for your username and password um, for you to be able to log in, and then it'll start pulling that information in. So for me, I'm going to bring this down to about uh, five items just to make it a little bit more manageable, uh, and then I'm going to uh, mess with the design here. I'm gonna just make it a grid. You can play with this um, just to find something. Actually, let me do four. Um, you can play with this uh, with a design to you know whatever fits your particular website design. Um, how we code it shouldn't affect that. But let me show you what I mean. Let me go ahead and apply that uh, and save it. So currently, again, as I have my Instagram feed set up, if I click on an image, it takes me to uh, my Instagram channel and it, I leave my Squarespace website and so again currently there's not a way natively within the Squarespace platform to ensure that clicking on an image for your Instagram feed will open up a new tab so we're gonna code this in and so the way that we do that is we're going to start um, by adding the jQuery library and we're gonna plug that into the code injection section of our Squarespace website. So we're gonna start off by navigating there by clicking on settings, then clicking on advanced, and then clicking on code injection. And so in this header section part of our Squarespace website is where we're going to be plugging in both the jQuery library and the code that I've written to be able to open up um, your, your Instagram feed in a new tab. So first we need to add the library. So the way that we do that is you want to make sure that you navigate to the developers.squarespace.com website. From here, you can click on Docs. It's going to open up Initial Setup. And then on the left-hand side here, you'll notice it says, you know, Getting Started, Initial Setup. We're going to scroll down to Custom JavaScript. Clicking on that will load a new page, and we're going to scroll down to Libraries. And we want to load this script here. And this will be our jQuery script. And we're going to just, you can right click and copy, navigate back to our Squarespace website. And then again, if you're on a Mac, you can do Command B. If you're on a PC, you can do Control B. And so that opens up the library to be able to use the code that I've written uh, to allow for uh, the implemented code to open up again your Instagram feed in a new tab so let me go ahead I've already written that code I know I've discussed before I'm not gonna go into details and break down the code for you these tutorials are more about just showing you how to do something uh, so that you can implement it pretty easily in your Squarespace website so let me go ahead and bring in that code and the code here this is the code that you'll be using again uh, to be able to make that happen so we're gonna hit save I'm going to open this back up and I'm going to refresh just to make sure everything um, loaded properly. Sometimes with Squarespace, uh, plugging in a new code can be a little buggy. So let me go ahead and click on the image now and you'll notice it opened up in a new tab and I still have my website open. And so this should be the same with any image that's clicked in my Instagram feed. Again, keep in mind that plugging in the code in the code injection part of your website allows you to be able to ensure that wherever you plug in an Instagram feed this code is going to take effect so it's not space it's not excuse me page specific um, regardless of where you choose to plug this in this code should be able to load for you to be able uh, to then open up your feed in a new page and so again just to kind of walk you through it again we're going to uh, start at settings advanced code injection 
again, we're going to load in the jQuery library that we got from the developers.squarespace.com website. Then we're going to load in the custom script to be able to open up your Instagram feed in a new tab. I hope you guys found this helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe or like the video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment. Uh, and if you guys are needing any additional tutorials that you guys would like to see, please feel free to visit my website, uh, fill out the contact form, and I'll do my best to try and get those out to you. Again, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thank you.